I know I've created one of those perfect tactics that's going to score plenty of goals and play like Arsenal the Invincibles. However, I've hit a bad run. What do I do? My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. When you go into a slum, you're going to be tempted to change your tactics. I'm one of those guys that doesn't like to change his tactics because it only works if you're a big squad. If you are like the French national team, you've got such depth in your squad, you can change tactics every single game because you've got the wealth of a deep squad that allows you to play different kinds of formations. But with Palermo, we're stuck with one system. So what do you do when you get into a rut? And you can't afford to change your tactic. I'm pretty certain that you've been on this journey as well, where you've had a successful tactic and it suddenly stopped working. What's going on? Do I need to change the tactic? Do I need to find players? I was in the same boat with Palermo. We had a beautiful system last season. We completely dominated the league. We had no issues. The following season, we started to struggle. So I had to do a little deep dive into our tactical system first. There's a lot of information in the data hub and I like to keep things simple. There is one piece of information in the data hub that just tells you whether your tactic is good or bad. That's it. You know, it's really simple. It's the XG match story. I'm not interested in total XG. Yeah, you could have 35 shots and an XG of 2.4 thinking it's a good tactic when every single chance is 0 0.15. That's not really that good. So I'm more interested in the XG per shot. I want to know how many chances I create in one game which is greater than 0.3 XG. Now that is significant because it means I've created loads of goal scoring chances. If I've done three, I should have buried all three chances because 0.3 is a pretty good chance. So in this match against uh, Monza, which we lost, I'm looking at the match and I'm going, at the start of the game, we had some great chances to take the lead. Unfortunately, we didn't. We probably we gave away a penalty and then you know we didn't convert the boys are just not bearing their chances another match i look at the defeat to ternana it's the same story we had great chances we just weren't putting them away last season my striker was an outlier he was sitting right in this corner here he was the best striker in the league this season we don't have that striker anymore he's gone back to his parent club we now have to work with the squad that we have and well, they aren't doing as well as they could have because now if I'm looking at this XG table, our current position is 17th on the table. We're not that far away from the relegation zone. But our X points is actually 10, telling me that if my boys had buried those chances, we should be sitting the table. We are getting into positions. It doesn't mean the tactic is bad. It just means that I've got to figure a way on how to improve the scoring output of my own strikers. So what happened to us? Last season, we were like prime Arsenal, the Invincibles. We couldn't be stopped. We had players pirouetting in the box, creating beautiful plays. We had players from wider positions coming in to fire in unstoppable volleys. But this season, different story, losing streak. Well, to do that, I had to dive into our transitions to identify the root cause. And I've done this. The video is up here. If you want to have a look at how I played through four games, looking at each and every transition to identify what was going wrong, this is the video you want to check out. It's on another channel called BTN Live. Full playthroughs are also back on the channel. You will catch all these playthroughs of the Palermo Diaries over there. But for now, I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm going to show you the transitions that mattered. A big part of how we play depends on this player called Gabrielioni. He's our poacher. In our system, our poacher is supposed to link up play so that our final third can see five channels attacking. His part is crucial. So he has to be able to keep the ball. But here he gives the ball away too easily and this leads to us conceding a goal. In another match, we suffered a 5-1 defeat that should never have happened had I been paying a bit more attention to our defensive line. We got promoted after the patch. That means that we were scoring great goals even after the patch. However, there's something that my team was doing after we got promoted. We were still playing on a high defensive line with high pressing intensity and this came back to hurt us. 
The solution was either play with better defenders or drop my defensive line and my pressing intensity so I don't get hit with cheap balls over the top. So we now know that up front, we've got to look at our composition. Who's playing where? That has to be addressed. The second thing we need to address is just dropping our defensive line and perhaps our pressing intensity so that in some of these matches, we don't get sucker punched with the ball over the top. And let's not forget one thing. If you get promoted and you get go into a bad rut, sometimes it's got to do with the fact that you brought in a lot of new players and that has to be addressed as well. We added quite a few players to our squad in the summer and this no doubt caused a few issues with our team. We had to modify our training sessions just to accommodate this new group. Tactically, we may be almost familiar with the system. What I need to do now is to add in team bonding as a session that will help new players gel with the rest of the team. So what I've done is I've gone in and replaced chance conversion with team bonding for our complete training schedule. This will improve cohesion in the team, generally make the boys sing kumbaya around the campfire. This is where we were when we hit our losing streak. I made some adjustments. I moved the poacher away and I told him to go, you know, have a massage somewhere else so he doesn't bother the rest of the team. And then I adjust our defensive line and our pressing intensity and lo and behold, our results turned around. I know some of you believe that you should change your tactics if things go wrong. But before you do that, maybe just take a look at your XG story. You never know, something could be tweaked and you could still save your system. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful. If you have any questions or you want me to cover another area of the game, please let me know in the comments below. Meanwhile, stay safe. Once again, I want to thank you for your support. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.